If those born in the 90s and beyond don't know Ian Bishop the cricketer, they certainly know Ian Bishop, the commentator. He lives in a suitcase, traveling the world, analyzing a complicated sport to millions of viewers. The coronavirus is keeping him at home, away from being at what was supposed to be the 2020 IPL. It allowed us to talk about some of the most pressing and current issues facing West Indies cricket. Mark, in one year in office this week, CWI President Ricky Skerritt ripped up many of what he met at the board and installed his new agenda. Some, like Richard Pibus's firing, were too fast. Maybe on reflection, a little bit more patience from my point of view could have been handed down just prior to that World Cup instead of those drastic changes because the chemistry of the team, what they were building towards, would have needed time to blend. But the price of progress in cricket is paid literally in dollars. There is a gulf between West Indies cricket's finances and the top nations in world cricket. Been to Australia and watched what Australia are able to pump in economically into their women's side of things. So we don't have those revenue streams, and I think that must be understood. All the things that we're talking about at grassroots level, on the ground, it requires finance, it requires revenue, and that is going to be the consistent challenge for us here in the Caribbean. And that gap between the rich and poor in cricket is not showing any signs of contracting. A lot of those countries that have more power in terms of economic power still have to go through that process of understanding that there needs to be some give and take. While discussions on this issue may dominate ICC board meetings in Dubai, actions to bridge that gap don't seem to be an agenda. Ryan Bechu, CNC3 Sports.